Hello and welcome to Filled with His Love. So, okay, th this is a podcast about relationships. You know that. So why do I feel I need to talk about marijuana? Well, we live in when we lived in New York, th this little example I think might illustrate it. When we lived in New York, our next door neighbor knocked on our door and she said, do you have a few minutes I could talk to you? We said, sure, come on in. Then she proceeded to tell us about how her live-in partner was hooked on marijuana and how he was constantly trying to get her to use it too. But she didn't like what it did to her, both her mental capacity and her emotional health. She didn't like it. So keep in mind, this was at a time when marijuana was illegal in every state in the nation. But this encounter helped us see instantly how the substance could affect relationships. She didn't like her partner's behavior when he was high on the drug, and she didn't like how it made her feel either. So we tried to help her see how she could respond the next time her husband tried to rope her into using a drug she did not want to use. This really illustrates how any type of substance abuse and our physical health in general affects our relationships immensely. So, and one reason I want to do this podcast today is that a new study was just published that showed that marijuana users are three times more likely to develop peripheral artery disease, or PAD. P-A-D, peripheral artery disease. PAD is a serious condition that can lead to stroke, heart attack, and a host of other diseases. This was, let's say, a very gigantic study with 30 million patients receiving treatment for PAD. And of those 30 million, 623,768 were diagnosed as marijuana users. Marijuana users were at more than three times the risk for developing peripheral artery disease. So this was the conclusion of those who did the study. Quote, with the increase in marijuana use in the U.S., our findings show that users should be aware of the symptoms of PAD, such as leg pain while walking, slower or no hair growth, and feelings of coldness in the leg. So, they said, we know PAD is a progressive disease that can drastically impact the quality of life, making ongoing monitoring of this patient population critical, end quote. So what they concluded was, we need to watch people, we need to help marijuana users more so that they will notice these danger signs, these warning signs of peripheral artery disease that they might be developing because they have a three times more likely chance. That's, that's a lot. So this is just one disease that marijuana use can lead to, and it's been estimated that one in three users develops marijuana use disorder, meaning that they use more than they intended to use, they use it more often and for longer periods of time, essentially making it difficult for them to live an active, purposeful life. Now, it's nice that they are trying to help users avoid serious disease, but the simplest was the simplest way to avoid any negative effects of this drug is to never start using it in the first place. Obvious, right? In other words, follow the counsel of the Word of Wisdom. I could do a whole other podcast on the dangers of driving while under the influence of marijuana. Let's just say that 12 million people in the U.S. report that they have driven while on the drug, and statistics show that if a person is driving while using marijuana, they have double the risk of being in an accident and charged with driving under the influence, DUI. In addition, research is beginning to show that secondary smoke from the drug can be damaging to the person who is not using, but who is in the same room as the smoker. So our friend in New York was at risk when her partner was using the drug, even though she chose not to use it herself. This has great implications for families with children, etc. Those children, if they are exposed to secondary smoke, can also be experiencing some of those negative effects that the actual user is experiencing. None of this is good news, and this is a positive podcast. So here's my positive spin. The Lord loves us enough to help us avoid substances that will lead to addiction and eventually physical disease and emotional illness. 
Those who see the word of wisdom as too restrictive should remember that the counsel contained in this inspired section of the Doctrine and Covenants is a miraculous blessing to all who will heed its message. The point I want to make today is that our physical health has enormous, constant effects on our relationships. Because our physical health affects our emotional well-being, we are both mind and body, we are spirit and body. What happens to our spirit or our mind affects what happens with our body and vice versa. We are one human being. We are one whole entity. So it's so important for us to pay attention to our physical needs in health as well as our emotional and spiritual needs. I was once on an airplane flying to China, so I had lots of time to talk to the person next to me. He noticed that I was reading a book about heart disease, and he asked me why I was reading that book and whether or not it was a good book. We talked about our own family histories regarding heart disease, and I found out that his family history was even worse than mine, which is a little bit difficult because both my parents suffered from heart disease, and all of my aunts and uncles on one side of my family did. Actually, my aunts and uncles on the other side of the family had heart disease as well. So both of us have some type of genetic marker that we have to watch out for, that we have to try not to trigger. So he was interested in this book that I was reading. So I then opened the book, and I said, let me just show you the table of contents here to this book. I showed him that page in the book with all the chapter titles. Chapter one was something like maintain a normal weight. Chapter two was eat more fruits and vegetables. Chapter three was avoid red meat. Four was avoid alcohol. Five was stop smoking completely. Six was engage in exercise daily, etc. So you can imagine this uh, kind of book, and there are lots of these types of books out there. He was quite intrigued with it, and I said, these are standard recommendations, you know, for heart disease, and he was very interested at this point. He said, I said, do you want to do you want to see something even quite amazing about that? He nodded his head. I opened my scriptures to the 89th section of the Doctrine and Covenants and read the whole section to him, showing how it correlated very closely with the chapter headings of the book I was reading. I then said, I find it amazing that science now confirms the inspired counsel in these verses. But think of it, this health code that I was taught to follow since I was a young child was given in 1833. He was then very interested, not just in heart disease, but he came, <laughs> became very interested in the gospel as well. So for the rest of the flight, we talked more about the church and how revelation comes to prophets. So that's the good news. I think that's really the good news. Revelation, inspiration, that's good news. We don't need to worry about so many of the health risks of drugs, alcohol, or tobacco. Mortality is challenging enough without raising our risk for disease and misery from substance abuse, all of which can have damaging effects, as I've mentioned, on our relationships with those we care about the most. What a blessing the word of wisdom is. What a blessing this council that was given in 1833 is to us now. And science and the CDC keeps doing studies confirming all of these things that we knew in 1833. I am grateful for that. And I hope you're grateful for it too. And I hope, you know, I, I don't think many of my listeners are marijuana users, but you might know someone who's a marijuana user or who has a problem with some other substance abuse. I hope you'll give them, try to give them some help that they can get the help that they need so that they can uh, overcome the addiction that has been hurting them and perhaps even giving them peripheral artery disease, as this study just mentioned. So I hope this is helpful to you, and we will see you next time.